It's China's biggest ever auto show in the world's biggest auto market. Global car makers here rolling out 990 models. Of cars, that is. 89 of them are being presented here for the first time. Skipping China is not an option. If you're skipping China, you're, you're missing out on the, the world's greatest growth opportunity in the automotive industry. Last year's government incentives are winding down, and yet J.D. Power expects industry sales here to grow 12 percent this year to yet another record, 14 and a half million vehicles. And that's at the low end of estimates. The U.S., by comparison, may see sales of 11 million vehicles. For global players like General Motors, China's been a savior. GM's China sales rose to a record in March, surpassing its U.S. deliveries for a third straight month. Toyota saw sales leap 33 percent, Hyundai 47 percent. One area that both Western and Chinese car companies hope to gain a competitive advantage is in the hybrid and electric vehicle market. This is the E6 from BYD, which, of course, Warren Buffett invested in. It is one of a record 95 alternative energy cars being featured this year at the Beijing Auto Show. We are believers in new energy vehicles. We think in the long term, uh, we have to do that. Now, we have formed a new energy vehicle division. We are planning to invest $3.7 billion RMB in the, in the next five years. And uh, so the electrical vehicle is, is our current focus. But many barriers remain, namely battery life and recharging infrastructure and the relatively high price point compared to gas engine cars. Without government subsidies, you don't have a new energy vehicle opportunity. Uh, China has the need, traffic congestion, pollution, energy security. Uh, they have a consumer population that's more amenable to new energy because they travel short distances at lower speeds. Uh, with the right amount of government support, you could start to get more people to consider buying. China will be a leader. That said, uh, we don't really see a strong market for electric vehicles. I think uh, in the United States by 2015, we see uh, perhaps 9 percent of the market as hybrids. We see less than 1 percent uh, of the market there as, um, as uh, battery electric vehicles. And yet BYD and its billionaire investor Warren Buffett plan to roll out the electric E6 in the United States and southern China by the end of this year, as Chinese automakers push to become global players in an ever-increasingly global industry.